Hello beautiful Pisces, how are you today? Is it a flame or is it the real thing? We're about to find out. Welcome to all new viewers. I'm so glad you stopped by and thank you for all of my returning subscribers. So Pisces, very interesting energy, not for you with a fortune cookie. A weird opener um, between two worlds. Let's see what else we have here. We have co-create. All right, so let's just see what the challenges are here. So we're going to put out, um, I'm going to put out four rows of cards, one row. We're only looking at your person and their energy. I will be able to pick up how you interact somewhat. And um, what we see here is their thoughts, okay? So they're thinking about making you an offer. The Three of Cups is friendship, best friends. They think of you as a dear friend, somebody with whom they are close to, somebody who really stands by their side, somebody who is really there for them. So they really, too, the Page of Cups is also thoughts and feelings oftentimes blend. So Pisces, there you are in, our, in the reading. We have Cancerian energy. We have Leo energy. Their feelings, now, again, thoughts and feelings usually cross over. So now we have Sagittarius energy. They feel as though in their heart space that you're the one for them, that you are their destiny, that it's when the timing is right, they will be able to come forward. Now this is interesting because they feel as though they've been, there's a wall up between the two of you. And they don't really know what that wall is, Pisces. And here you are, the moon card. You're in your reading. Ah! Welcome. <laughs> and then I'm looking and seeing their intention. Pisces, your person wants to make a long-term commitment with you. Um, getting the energy that this is a person who is not overly swayed by emotions. Uh, this is the Libra Queen. Um, so we're getting the energy of the Hierophant, which which my dog has now joined me. <laughs> and uh, I get the energy of the Hierophant, which means that your person uh, sees you as the one long term. Uh, but the, the um, so their intention is to have long term commitment. Their intention is to, you know, discern. They, they look like they're being very logical. They think you're the one. The Libra energy, this person must have air sign here because I get Libra energy again for you. Um, but we really get this energy with the Queen of Swords and the Justice card. Somebody who definitely, this is a legal relationship that would be using their judgment. So their intention is to have a long-term commitment with you. Now, their actions are, they're certainly working on the relationship. They're trying to transform it in some way with those butterflies. We get the high priestess. They're very emotional. They keep their emotions hidden away, though, because when we look at the high priestess energy, it's Cancerian energy. So their actions are very much supportive, emotional, nurturing, trying to be of practical service in the relationship trying to transform the relationship. So very interesting energy that their feelings, the sun card, you make them happy. What we're seeing here is that they want, they totally want you in their lives. They want to co-create, but spirit is actually giving us this message that the two of you might not be compatible. Now, obviously we can always use our free will, right? But Spirit does say that there are some pretty big differences. However, co-create is part of your journey together. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are for the energy to see. I feel as though your person is very serious about you, okay? I don't think there's any doubt about it. They feel like you are their best friend. The Page of Cups is clarified by the Four of Air. So the Four of Air is... Someone who's taking a break, who's resting, who's trying to catch their breath. It looks like they've been through a lot and probably in the last year or so. Uh, but it does speak to the fact that they may feel a bit wounded and they're, they're not sure that you're really taking their offer. This is a person who looks like they're 
there's um, a hang-up, you know, they, they feel like a wounded warrior, like they have to heal from some interaction that you've had recently. The Hermit card means that they think that, you know, sometimes that yes, they're your best friend, but that you might not want the relationship. And the Queen of Water is the Queen of Cups. That's the energy that says that they love you unconditionally. They've loved you for a long time. Um, it looks like for many of you, you've known this person for a long time. But the Queen of Water says that they really do think that you're the their person. They think that you're the person for them. They feel like the relationship is very strong. But I don't see romantic love here. A lot of romantic love. I just... I don't see it. So, Pisces, you can leave comments and let me know. Okay, so why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Because that's all about destiny and timing. Five of Earth. Destiny may take the two of you in different directions. Uh, that is what they feel in their heart space. There's a sense of... That's why I think they're feeling nervous. They feel as though if you're alone, that you know you might not miss them like they would miss you. And the thought of that makes them very upset. So they do feel as though the time is coming and you might be separated by distance or space or by work. The Seven of Wands, this person wants to break out of restrictions with you. The Nine of Water, they want there to be laughter. This person is feeling very restricted, very much like they're helpless. And, you know, the clarifier for this restriction is they want to eat, drink, be merry, have fun. They want to, they just want to have a great life with you. The page of earth is clarifying the moon card. They want to make plans, but they notice that, you know, their perception is at least in their heart space that you may not be reciprocating in the way that you once did. Um, and I feel this four of swords is a reflection of that. Now, if, take what resonates and leave the rest, and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus are all signs that you can watch. But I'm getting here that not for you may be your opinion, Pisces. So again, leave comments. But I'm getting this sort of a loving each other, but one of you seems to love the other more as a friend. And, and the other of you, because roles can be vice versa. Okay, so the hair font, why is it here? Seven of Water. They don't know that they want a traditional marriage with you that isn't necessarily holding so much meaning for your person, Pisces. Ten of Earth, they would like to create a beautiful home with you, to, ha to live with you, to, and for some of you, you already live together. But what we're seeing here is this energy of stability, of happiness, of abundance. This person really wants to have that in their life, and that is something that they consider when they look at you. The Queen of Air is now duplicated. We have the Queen of Swords there. So your person is in their intention anyway. They're trying to intentionally be very rational about what they want, about what they expect, but they do want to build a future with you, and they're very discerning. So they, but I see questions. They just don't know if you feel the same way. The two of air is you're kind of stuck in this place or your person is stuck with no action. They're trying to progress in their career, but they don't really know what to do about the relationship. The two of air is like, I'm going to put it on the back burner for now, Pisces. I don't really know. My career's got me going. The high priestess clarified by the world card. They intuitively think, for whatever reason, that you may not really resonate with them the way they resonate with you. The world card could be an ending. That they feel as though if their career takes them to another place, that you may not. It may just close up the relationship, may close it down. We have the sun card. So there's strong Leo presence here. And there's a strong, yeah, there's a strong Leo presence here. I'm getting that, to clarify the sun, we have the king of fire. So your person, Pisces, may have a lot of fire in their chart. So I feel as though that could be some of the incompatibility that may be our discomfort. But I really get a very beautiful, from their standpoint, I get someone who's very dedicated to this relationship. To them, this is not a fling, and it's just... 
it bothers them a great deal because this person really would like that coin, that commitment, that offer from you. You know, they really do want you to tell them how much you love them. They feel as though the two of you have gotten into a very sort of earthbound relationship that's very practical, but it's not about emotions. They're into intellectually messenger of air. They're trying to sort through this. They're just not sure where you're at. This person's going to keep pushing forward with you, and they're going to hope for the best. So let's look and see what we have for messages of love. So for them, it's definitely a serious relationship. It's not a flame. So let's see what your person is seeing in terms of finances are definitely a challenge affecting the connection. All right, we have support. Lean on your inner circle at this time. So your person is talking to their friends or talking to people with whom you you probably know of them, but you really don't know. It is safe to trust the situation. So I'm really curious, though, because I'm seeing that when we get this not for you and transformation, what is it, Spirit, that is not for our Pisces friends in this relationship? What is, uh, is it about this that is saying not for you? What is not for Pisces? Please tell us, Spirit. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So there's some aspect of the relationship that you don't enjoy. When your person is really in the height of their joyfulness, playfulness, you know, it looks as though you're not vibrating at the same frequency possibly. Again, this uh, it's all about them. This reading is primarily about them. They are all in, but they are very worried because they get the definite vibe that you may not be on board. That though they're sort of, you're in the car, you're driving along, you're on vacation, you know, one of you has a map, one of you is driving, but your person doesn't feel like you're really there. So when we go girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. So they're really, they have fears here that you are just not seeing this relationship in the same way they do. Um, they fear that, you know, th their fear is that maybe the snake to me just means not being really honest or straightforward. You know, that's what it looks like. The X, break up separation, stop the pattern. It's silence silent treatment and abandonment. So your person is very anxious about the relationship. I see this as them, you know, being very anxious that you may, um, you may leave them. And it may be simply based on the fact that you don't resonate in the way with them that, that they think that they resonate with you. So Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Make some comments. Tell me what's going on. Thank you. Bye-bye.